Israel stepped up its bombardment of Gaza overnight and into Sunday, Palestinians said, adding that dozens of people were killed. It comes after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu argued the only way to secure the release of hostages was intense military pressure on Hamas. The attacks also follow Friday talks between Israel's spy chief and the Prime Minister of Qatar, which mediated earlier hostage releases in return for a week-long ceasefire and the freeing of Palestinian prisoners. That's according to a source with knowledge of the matter. Residents and militants say Israeli attacks took place amid fierce fighting the length of the coastal enclave. Communications were also down for a fourth day, making it hard to reach the wounded. Hamas militants say they will not discuss freeing any more of those captured when they attacked southern Israel on October 7th. If Israel continues the war on Gaza, it's unleashed in response. With no signs of compromise, violence has intensified. In Han Yunis, injured Palestinians were rushed in ambulances and on donkey carts to Nasser Hospital after what they say was an Israeli airstrike on the UN Palestinian Refugee Agency's school. <laughs> Where is safe, says this man, adding he's worried about getting killed while in the hospital. Israeli missile strikes also hit a house, killing at least 24 people and wounding dozens of others in the Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza, Hamas Aqsa Radio said, citing the health ministry. Health officials were not available for immediate comment. Israel said it had operated against terrorist targets. Meanwhile, in Tel Aviv, the frustrated families of hostages held in Gaza set up a campsite near Israel's defense ministry. They vow to stay there until the government secures a deal with Hamas to release their loved ones. It's important for me to be here today because we need to, press, to put more, more pressure on the government to remind them that the hostage situation must be ended with a deal and the deal must, must be right now because we don't have any more time to waste. We cannot wait for them to try to rescue them by, by army, uh, with army forces. It needs to be with diplomatic, by diplomatic deal, by, by a negotiation. Around 19,000 Palestinians have been killed, according to Gaza health officials, and thousands buried in the rubble of Israeli airstrikes since October 7th. Israel says Hamas militants killed 1,200 people and captured 240 hostages in their surprise raid that day.